Hey there, curious minds. Welcome back to our YouTube channel where we explore the marvels of science. Today, we're diving into the mind-blowing realm of nanotechnology. Now, many of us may have ideas of what nanotechnology is, what it does, and its application. Some of us might have just heard of it in some movie or on TV somewhere. Obviously, it gets exaggerated in the movies, <laughs> but nanotech can be applied in various ways and is being used in various fields of science, agriculture, and technology right now. So we are here to give concise and in-depth knowledge of what nanotechnology is and how it can be applied. But before then, can you hit that subscribe button real quick? Our YouTube analytics show that only a small amount of people who watch our videos are actually subscribed to the channel. So kindly subscribe to us. It's the best way to stay updated on all our latest content. Also, smash that like button if you can. So according to the CDC, nanotechnology is the manipulation of matter on a near atomic level so as to produce new structures, material, or new devices. This technology has aided scientific research and advancement in many sectors such as medicine, consumer products, energy, and manufacturing. Nanotechnology leverages the properties of nanoparticles, which are like really tiny particles. In fact, if we were to describe its size using the relativity scale, it would be like if a nanoparticle was the size of your average remote control, the human hair in relation to that would be the size of a Mack truck. Yeah, their size are like almost infinitesimal. So their small size gives them desirable properties and compared to materials on a larger scale, the macro scale rules of chemistry and physics do not apply to them. Take carbon nanoparticles, for example. They are six times lighter than steel and at least hundred times stronger on the macro scale that wouldn't even be possible. So scientists in turn leverage these properties of nanoparticles into a wide range of applications spanning a vast number of different industries. Key accomplishments in the field of nanotechnology can be seen across a wide variety of engineering, energy, and medical sectors. Examples include the discovery of the wonder material graphene, the enhancement of vaccine development by using nanotechnology products for antigen delivery, the development of nanomeds to treat diseases like cancer and cardiovascular illnesses, and also facilitating the development of clean energy technology. Okay, so how did this technology come about in the first place? Nanotechnology traces its roots back to the visionary physicist Richard Feynman, who in 1959 first discussed the possible potential of manipulating matter on an atomic and molecular level. In his lecture, Feynman noted that scaling issues would arise from the changing of magnitude of our various physical phenomena. For example, gravity would become less important and natural occurrences like surface tension and van der Waals force would become more important and so on and so forth. And all this he talked on at his, there's plenty of room at the bottom lecture. In an American Physical Society meeting at Caltech on December 29th, 1959, which is often held to have provided inspiration for the field of nanotechnology. So what can nanotechnology do? Over the past two decades, research and development have led to nanotech innovations producing tailored materials with specific properties available at the nanoscale. This significantly expands the material science toolkit available to researchers and processing engineers, in turn leading to lighter, stronger, and way more durable and effectively reactive nanomaterials being manufactured. Research has produced materials with enhanced electrical conductivity and complex architectures, making them suitable for multiple applications at the cutting edge of materials science and in numerous scientific fields. For example, carbon nanotubes are predicted to replace our standard silicon as the key material for developing next-gen products in electronics. These carbon nanotubes can produce faster and more efficient microchips with strength and high conductivity. They can help create electronics with greater storage capacities, longer battery life, and increased security. In addition, nanotechnology is further helping the environment in its application in improving carbon capture technology. A new carbon capture platform, for example, was developed in 2019 by MIT researchers that used carbon nanotubes in its design. Nanotechnology has yet to reach its full potential in this field, and research continues to explore how it can further improve carbon capture methods. 
Nanotechnology has numerous noteworthy applications in biomedicine. However, its biggest achievements lie in the development of novel diagnostic tools, drug delivery systems, and vaccines. There are many potential uses of nanotechnology in biomedicine that are currently being explored. Further research in this area has the potential to revolutionize healthcare. Also, as the world's population continues to swell, our already stretched agricultural systems will need to produce significantly more food. Scientists have recognized that reducing food wastage is an important tool in addressing food availability, given that a thirds of our food is wasted. Scientists have used nanoparticles to create novel coatings for fruits that can extend their shelf life. Energy, specifically clean energy, has also greatly benefited from nanotechnology. Nanostructured catalysts, for example, are used to improve the efficiency of fuel cells. Nanofluids are used to enhance the transfer efficiency of solar connectors, and carbon nanotubes are used to boost energy absorption in solar cells. So nanotechnology will undoubtedly be fundamental to helping the world switch from fossil fuels to renewable energy sources. Finally, although there has been significant growth in technological capabilities and knowledge over the past few decades on nanotechnology, there are still few unanswered questions about its future. Ethical concerns are largely unresolved and still up for debate. Um, however, it is undeniable that nanotechnology is yet to achieve its full potential in each of the industries it is being applied in, and we cannot wait to see how nanotech evolves through the years. Feel free to Leave a comment on where you feel nanotechnology might be headed in the foreseeable future down in the comment section below. And as always, stay informed. Bye for now.